I'm Holly. That's Ray. And this is our home, Sabado. Together, we've sailed the east coast of the United States, the Bahamas, and the Caribbean. And now we've begun the next leg of our circumnavigation, the Pacific. Subscribe to tag along on the adventure. Well, after 32 days on the dock here in Panama, we finally received our long stay visa for French Polynesia, which means we are in the home stretch of our preparations before we set sail across the Pacific. The Pacific Ocean is the largest ocean in the world, covering more than 30% of the Earth's surface. Our route to the Marquesas Islands spans nearly 4,000 nautical miles, making this the longest passage of our circumnavigation. You've already seen us stock up on food and spare parts, but our to-do list continues to grow as our departure date approaches. We're at the most amazing produce market. I like to buy non-refrigerated items when I can because they tend to last longer. So this is perfect. All right, we're all stocked up. Now we just gotta descend Mount Everest here. The boat is kind of a disaster right now. <laughs> All of these are full of fruit and veggies that I still need to wash and put away. This is like my clean but drying section and this is what I'm trying to find a home for. Simultaneously, I've got some meal prep going on. So, this will be the rest of my day. She's perfect. Mm. So it looks like we have a marginal weather window, but uh, we're going to take it. Uh, it's been really light winds getting out of Panama down towards the Galapagos and we've got We've got wind now. It's not gonna last very long, but there just isn't anything better that that we we're seeing So we're, we're gonna take it. We may use quite a bit of fuel getting to the Galapagos and we're not stopping there So it's gonna take some patience on our part for sailing really slow, but um you know we're gonna we're gonna start tomorrow. Probably take seven, eight days to the Galapagos. We're gonna try not to motor as much as the models say that we're going that we would need to. We have about ten days worth of motoring uh, that we can do, and that would be zero fuel left after ten days. And Galapagos right now, uh, the models are saying that we would need to motor. Uh, you know four or five days, but we'll see if we can do a little bit better than that. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So yeah, tomorrow's the day. We're gonna we're gonna head out and uh, and start our journey. Probably I you know, I think twenty six days. We're about thirty eight hundred miles. Um, 
that we need to go. So probably 26 days. But, you know, whereas the weather getting out of here to Galapagos uh, doesn't look that great for us, R at least right now, the weather across the rest of the way looks pretty good. We're going to have some pretty gusty conditions tomorrow. Gusting up to 30, 35 is what the model says. And, you know, we're fine sailing in 30, 30 knots of wind because it's, it's going to ma mainly be from behind us. The problem is that it goes from a steady, a fairly consistent 10, 12 knots with gusts up to 35 knots. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a tough one for us. Um, you know, we we will reef to the gusts uh, so that we're safe for those 30 knot winds. But that means that during the, the 10, 12 knots, we're gonna be going really slow. But that's, you know, we have a long journey ahead of us here, so mm -hmm. we're just, we're gonna take it we're gonna take it uh, slow and safe. Our friends invited us over for a little farewell dinner. Look how pretty the table setting is. So sweet. Gorgeous. Oh, I'm so excited to be here. later this afternoon but not as bad so today was a better departure day um, and tomorrow is actually even a little bit better but uh, we're ready to go. Yeah. We've got 12 knots of wind right now and we're sailing at six and a half so not bad. We've got the main on the first reef and our jib out. It's all good. Yep. hours in and the wind is starting to lighten up a bit so we're gonna go ahead and rig up the Jennifer. Our speed. 5.3. Uh, Man, we can't start motoring already. No. <laughs> All right, we're flying it a little higher here, kind of like you would a spinnaker. Obviously, we're still messing around with it a little bit, but hopefully it'll help us get our speed up. That's more like it. big fish behavior out there. You saw that, right? Yeah, 
I know we should be fishing, but this is just our first few hours, so we're just taking it easy. Just heating up some chicken curry for dinner. We've got some music going. The sun is setting. This is my favorite part of being on passage, just doing typical everyday tasks, but then you step outside and see this. Got a lone dolphin up there. Beautiful evening. Day one, crossing the Pacific. <laughs> so crazy. We don't like to fly the Jennifer at night, so we're just swapping it out for the jib before it gets dark. Decided we might as well drive while we're at it. And that'll be the setup for the night. We brought out the Jenniker super early this morning. We're flying it off our port bow, and as you can see, it is unhappy. We're gonna try a few different things, but the wind is ultra light, so we'll see how it goes. We were going for some wing on wing action, but Sabado says no. Can you believe after all of that, the best sail configuration is just the main and the jib. We're off to a super slow start this morning. I think we're going three knots, but we're trying to be patient and remember that this passage is a marathon, not a sprint, and we need to conserve fuel. Oh. Eviction time. I guess the wind filled out since I went down to take a nap, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, been working out in our favor. Uh, the forecast keeps saying that we're going to have to motor and it gets close and then the wind picks back up. So, so far so good. You know, we've, uh, let's see, where are we at today? So in the last 24 hours, uh, we haven't motored, motored at all, so that's good. Um, we've done 150 nautical miles, and um, we had a maximum speed while you were on shift of 13.3 <laughs> knots. Woohoo! That's a pretty good wind last night for sure. And it yeah, was, we were uh, cruising. My first shift up there, that was so fun. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that was obviously surfing a little bit. Yeah, a lot of um, a long ways away from that eight and a half knot average that would be pretty cool for a 200 nautical mile average but yeah. uh yeah so far so far good nice yeah.
And just like that, the wind has disappeared. We're down to two knots. through the night last night and still have zero wind. We put our fishing lines out, but I think we're going too slow to catch anything, so we'll see about that. Sleeping in shorter shifts is definitely starting to get to me. I feel like a zombie. We've been doing three hours on and three hours off, which is just brutal, but usually around this time, like day three, four, five, we start to adjust and do longer shifts, so I'll be looking forward to that. you can really see but it's just a huge cluster of birds out there super exciting I know Subscribe for more bird watching content. All right, day two, and it's uh, it's it was, actually day three. Is it day three? Yeah. Yeah, something week one. <laughs> for sure, week one. Uh, we've been motoring for 24 hours, and we knew we were going to be motoring. So um, it's frustrating, but flat calm seas. If you look at this, this is the Pacific Ocean, and uh, that's our sail up there flopping around. Probably about the time we get to the Galapagos, uh, we'll be able to sail. Uh, until then, we're gonna motor. Hi, guys! Hi! <laughs> oh, there's so many of you. Wow. They're putting on a show. Woo! Guess what? We found some wind. Not a lot, but enough to shut the engine off, which is enough for me. So, things have taken a turn. 
It never ceases to amaze me how quickly things can change on the water. All of our posts are in real time, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here because there's just no way I'm gonna be able to edit more footage in these conditions, but check out our blog. We've been doing daily written updates, and Ray has been doing daily Instagram posts talking about our progress. So check those out, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.